In this video, we will learn the most important methods of the Veeam objects. Before watching the code you need to watch these two videos. The splines video is optional, but recommended. The first thing to understand is the colors in Manim. This color palette is already predefined and can be used as constants in uppercase. In Manim, there are some interesting functions that can help you to manipulate colors. I recommend you to check them out in the documentation. I also recommend you to install the Color Highlight plugin for VS Code, which allows you to display colors in hexadecimal format, since Manim accepts colors in hexadecimal format as strings. Now let's study some generalities of Veeam objects. All Veeam objects have fill and thickness. You can set the opacity and color of each one. In the ManimCE documentation, you can find more Veeam objects. In case you want to change any of these attributes, you can use these methods. They work for both ManimCE and ManimGL. You can also get all these attributes with getters. You can build your own custom Veeam objects in three ways, defining the control points one by one, defining each point as a corner, or defining the curve as a spline. ManimGL, unlike ManimCE, creates splines using quadratic bezier curves, instead of cubic curves. This is one of the most important differences between the two versions. And also we cannot call the setPoints methods when we instantiate the Veeam object class, but we have to do it in the next line. You can use the get start and get end methods to get the first and last control point respectively of a Veeam object. If you want to get all the control point of a Veeam object, you can use the get all points method. You can even manipulate any VM object using the points attribute.
In the case of ManMGL, we have to call the points key of the data attribute to manipulate the control points. This concludes the third part of this section. Remember that you can support this project through PayPal and Patreon, the links are in the description. In the next video, we will see some miscellaneous functionalities that M-Objects have.